star date. Time to go on a date with the famous, the hottest, most popular K-pop stars right here on Sound K Star Date. And tonight we do have the new rookie who's making all the student teachers' heart flutter with her new song. It's Encia. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, Encia입니다. Oh, nice to have you in our studio. Ah, 나주소 감사합니다. 굉장히 소녀 이미지가 엄청 되게 귀여우세요. 감사합니다. This is the first time I'm seeing her. She's very cute. She is, I guess, all you can say about a young girl. She has that really fresh, bright young girl image right now. And she also looks a lot like a lot of the people out there already in the K-entertainment world, I should say. There was a, like, Sonyeonje, the gymnast Sonyeonje, I think. She looks a little bit like also Yunune. I'm going to talk a little bit about this. I'm sure here she hears about this all the time. 닮으신 분들이 꽤 있는 것 같아요. 아, 뭐, 네. 윤은혜 씨나 네. 아니면 소년재 씨나 네. 그리고 이런 얘기 많이 들으시죠? 네, 되게 요즘에 좀 많이 듣는 편이에요. 음, 네. 본인은 누구 닮은 것 같아요? 저는 잘 모르겠어요. 솔직히 아. 막 계속 주변에서 너 누구 닮았어, 누구 닮았어 이래도 음. 저는 막 아닌 것 같은데 아. 네, 사람들이 한 명만 그런 게 아니고 되게 여러 네. 분이 그러시니까 음. 네, 아 진짜 잘 맞나? <laughs> ah, <laughs> so I asked her. So who do you think you look like a lot like? And she says she doesn't really know. Uh, she doesn't know, but she hears this all the time. Everyone's been telling her. So now she's sort of pondering herself whether, oh, I do really look like that person. That kind of a feeling right now. So she doesn't really know who she looks like, but everyone's been telling her who she looks like. And as I said, one of those people was Hwon. Sonyeonje, the gymnast Sonyeonje, and Sonyeonje is actually known to be very beautiful here in Korea. Everyone says how cute she is, so I'm sure that's kind of a compliment when you hear about it. I'm going to ask her how she feels about this. Sonyeonje 선수 닮았다는 얘기도 굉장히 많이 들을 것 같은데 네. 그 얘기 들을 땐 기분이 어때요? 어 저는 그 전부터 계속 네. 아 너무 귀여운 것 같다 말해서 음. 계속 보면서 되게 좋아했거든요. 아. 근데 직접 닮았다는 소리 들으니까 네. 되게 기분이 좋아요. 음, 한번 네. 만나보고 싶지 않아요? 얼마나 닮았는지? 네, 만나서 한 <웃음> 찍었는데 뭐 비교되는 거 아니에요? <웃음> 아, 네. 만났다는 줄 알았어. 아, 만나고 right. 싶어요. So she says, you know, Sonyeonje is known for her cute image and she's been hearing this a lot. And she actually really, really likes it because, you know, Sonyeonje, as I said before, she is known to be very beautiful. So every time she hears it, she finds it a compliment. She's very happy about it. It, she would actually like the chance to meet her and actually, you know, compare. Although we're kind of joking about them for a moment there, I thought she was saying she actually met her, but no, she says she'd like to get the chance to take a photo with her and actually compare. And not only this, the resembling, you know, the other stars in the K, I shouldn't say K entertainment world, just the Korean world overall. She's also receiving a lot of love for her voice as well. And there is a lot to congratulate her about as well because her debut song went up straight to the number one spot in the radio charts. And because we radio, this means a lot. So I'm gonna ask her about this first. 그리고 축하드릴 일도 있는 것 같아요. 아, 음, 네, 네, 데뷔곡이 라디오 차트 1위를 하셨다고요? 네, 오, 라디오 차트 1위였어요. 네, 축하드려요. 어떠셨어요? 딱이 얘기 들었을 때. 어, 막 2위, 3위 이런 곡들 보면 음. 되게 요즘에 1위 하는 실시간 차트 이런 데서 1위 하는 그런 곡들인데 음. 제가 그분들을 <웃음> 이겼다는 게좀 뿌듯하기도 하고 아, 정말 노래 이렇게 많이 틀어 주셔서 정말 감사드립니다. 네. 오, 네. So she was very very happy and she actually looked at the number 2, number 3 songs and these were the songs that was, you know, the number 1 on the uh, all the updated charts right now. the biggest music charts right now so she was very surprised about this and she was so happy that her song was number one and that a lot of the radio stations actually played her song as well and she was very thankful to everybody about this so maybe she thinks there is a specific reason why her debut song Kyoseng Sam which means student teacher is receiving a lot of love right now I'm gonna ask her what she thinks is the reason behind all this 그리고 데뷔 곡 교생쌤 <웃음> 어, <웃음> 발음이 어렵네요 네, 네. 데뷔 곡 
교생쌤. 이렇게 사랑을 많이 받는 이유는 네. 어, 개인적으로 무엇 때문이라고 생각을 하세요? 음, 일단 가사가 네. 그 저희 외국 사람들은 음. 그런 게 없대요. 교생 선생님이. 그렇죠. 네. 근데 이제 저희 나라 사람들한테는 아, 우리나라 사람들한테는 <웃음> 맛있을 수 있다. <웃음> 네. 어, 교생 선생님을 좋아하시는 분들이 되게 많잖아요. 그쵸? 지금도. 음. 그래서 아무래도 가사가 좀 공감되고 그래서 좀더 많이 들어 주시는 것 같아요. 음. So she thinks it's the lyrics basically. She's saying a lot of the times overseas we don't have what we call the student teacher who is in fact a student still who is, you know, attending university before I guess uh experience reasons and various other reasons as well of course. They go to different schools for a time period and they teach the students there and that's what we call the student teacher. I'm sure many other countries also have this kind of a, a system as well. Well, because they are young, sometimes they're actually very handsome, very pretty as well. A lot of the students at times they think of their student teacher a lot. Uh, they actually crush on their teacher as well. So, the lyrics basically is about that, crushing on your student teacher. And she says she thinks it's because of the lyrics that her song is receiving so much love because everyone can sort of empathize with the lyrics. They listen to the song and they can almost feel like it's their own experience, their own past experience, which I can sort of relate to as well. And, you know, the song's title, Kyo Seng Sam, is kind of interesting too. It's actually a shortened form for Kyo Seng Son Seng Nim, which is the more full version, but I guess it's just the easy way of saying it, all the way the students say it. I want the how they ended up with this title. 제목이 굉장히 또 특이해요. 네. 교생 선생님도 아니라 그냥 교생 쌤. 아, 네. <웃음> 이건 누구 아이디어는? 어, 아이디어는 저희 네. 대표님 아이디어고요. 아. 네, 교생 선생님보다는 교생 네. 쌤이 이제 요새 많이 쓰는 음. 단어이기도 하고 그래서 어, 그런 제목을 지었고요. 네. 노래는 이제 가사에 보시면 이제 학생이 교생 선생님을 정말 짝사랑하고 좋아하는 그런 마음이 그쵸. 정말 솔직하게 표현이 돼 있어요. 음. 뭐몇 년만 기다리라 뭐 내일 보세요. <웃음> 오빠 동생 막 이러면서 네. 그런 가사예요. 네. 그런 음. 가사가 있어서 이제 조금 더 공감이 되고 네. 재밌게 들으실 수 있는 노래. 음, 네. So she just explained about the uh, the title first. 교생 쌤 as I said it's like the short and firm and actually the CEO of our company came up with this very interesting title and they use this shortened form, this kind of a language that students use right now, because by doing, I guess, using the kind of language the students use, she and also her CEO and the rest of her company thinks people can relate to this song a little bit more easier. And she was really talking about the lyrics as well, how the girl actually crushes on her student teacher. And the lyrics are very honest. It really talks about the feeling straight up. Also, there's lyrics like, wait a few years years for me, I'll be old enough, that kind of feeling. And yeah, she says people can really, really relate to this and she thinks with this title as well, it actually goes all together as a huge package really well to the audience. And I must say this fits her image as well, but when NC was recording this song, apparently she had some trouble, she had some hard time. I wonder what that's about as well. This image is really good for NC. 굉장히 잘 어울리는 것 같아요. 음, 네. 그런데 녹음을 할때 고생을 좀 하셨다고요? 네, 그 제가 선생님을 음. 이제 좋아한 적이 없어서 아 네. 그리고 좀 성격도 좀 무뚝뚝하고 저는 맨날 발라드만 불러와서 이렇게 아 밝은 노래가 좀 어려웠었어요. 네. 네. So apparently she's had no experience of liking a, a teacher before, like crushing on a student teacher before. So that was pretty hard to express the emotions while recording this song. And also she only sang ballads apparently, like kind of a sorrowful, mellowful, uh, mellowful, mellow songs. So yes, that was a little bit hard too, trying to sing a very upbeat song but you know during her age we also have what we call the first love I wonder whether she has one of those yet or she actually has not had one yet 그럼 엔시아 씨의 첫 사랑은 있었나요? 아 지금 이렇게 생각을 해보면 잘 모르겠지만 
첫사랑의 그 정의를 <웃음> 잘 모르겠어서 oh. 네, 뭐 아직은 없는 걸로 <웃음> oh. <웃음> 네. She was pondering about the definition of first love What kind of a feeling that is I guess it can be kind of confusing at times You really don't know Whoa, Was that guy my first love? You know, that kind of feeling Anyways, because she is still pondering about this She says, you know, let's just go with not having one yet So maybe in the future someone can become her first love Love. 그럼 요즘에 이렇게 방송국 돌아다니면서 네. 많은 멋진 선배분들도 많이 보고 그러잖아요. 네. 어, 저분은 조금 어, 마음에 든다. <웃음> 저분은 내 첫사랑이 될수 있겠다. <웃음> 어, 어, 아이돌 그 선배님들 너무 네. 잘 생기셨는데 <웃음> 그 중에서 이제 <웃음> 네. 엑소의 오. 기호 선배님 오. 정말. 네 그리고 저는 원래 어 모델 그 모델 네. 배우이신 음. 이종석 선배님 정말 아, 좋아요. 네. 네. So I had to ask her. So you've been around different stations, broadcasting stations. You must meet a lot of people. Anybody catch your eyes? Maybe they can become your first love. And she says all the idol group members they are all so handsome. But actually, the person that caught her attention was EXO's Dio and also Lee Jung Seok, the actor Lee Jung Seok as well. So, on that note, I think we should listen to a song tonight. She's going to sing her brand new debut song. I'm just going to ask her whether she's ready to sing this, and we'll go ahead with our live session tonight. 네, 그리고 이제 라이브 곡 들어볼 시간인데요. 네. 데뷔곡 오늘 불러주신다고요? 네, 교생쌤 불러드립니다. 네, 그럼 바로 해도 될까요? 서서 하실 건가요? 네, 서서. 어, 그럼 서서 이렇게 마이크 올리시면 돼요. 네. All right, let's check out her debut song live in our Sound K Studio. It's the song. Song called Kyo Seng Sam, My Student Teacher by Ensia, live in our studio. <laughs> Bye. 
is a song by NCR Live in our Sound K studio. You are listening to Sound K on Arirang Radio with me, DJ Xian. And this is our Monday Corner Star Date with NCR. That was her debut song, her brand new song called Cold. I have problems saying this. <laughs> 교생쌤, my student teacher. Oh, 발음이 너무 어려워요. 이거 <laughs> 정말로. <laughs> 어, 노래 정말 잘 들었어요. 노래도 uh, 외모만큼 귀여운 것 같아요. 감사합니다. <laughs> English is, uh, 선생님이죠. 네. 근데 발음이 좀 특이했던 것 같아요. 아, 네. <laughs> 뭐라고 하시는 거죠? English 쌤인데 네. 이걸 이어서 해야 음. 돼서 그냥 English 쌤. 아, <laughs> oh, <what a> <laughs> 어려워요. <laughs> It does talk about her crushing. On her English teacher, English student teacher, but because it has to like link on with the other songs, the pronunciation a little bit different. But I think that is the cute thing about this whole song. And actually, if you check out the music video, it's all over YouTube as well. You can check out Girls Days is Hetty and the actors Hoji Sog. Apparently, these guys were on the music video with no guarantees, so no pay at all. I wonder how this happened. 그리고 뮤직 비디오도 화제였던 것 같아요. Girls' Day 해리 씨랑 배우 서지석 씨가 no guarantee로 출연을 하셨다고요. 아 네. 어떻게 직접 아, 친분이 있는 건가요? 저랑은 아니고 음. 저희 회사 분들이랑 좀 친해 친하셔서 아. 네 이게 저사 저의 노래와 저의 사진을 이렇게 네. 보여주셨는데 이제 네. 곧 데뷔한 친구인데 음. 그래서 소개를 시켜주셨는데 어 뮤직비디오에 참여하고 싶다고 하셨다고 오. 하셔서 네 그래서 직접 이렇게 no guarantee로 네, so she actually doesn't know them in person, but actually, uh, Sojisak and also Hedy, they actually knew people at her company, at NCS company, and apparently they heard her sing, they saw her photos and things like that, and they said, oh yeah, they will appear in the music video without guarantee. So yeah, they decided to partake, and they are in there, so do check it out. I wonder whether she met them as well. 그럼 그 후로 아니면 뮤직비디오 촬영 당시 어 해리 네. 씨나 서지석 씨 만난 적 있나요? 네, 제가 그 촬영 현장에 갔다 네. 왔었어요. 오, 네. 어떠셨어요? 만나니까. 어, 일단 해리 선배님 너무 이쁘시고 아. <웃음> 보고 막 와, 진짜 진짜 이쁘다고. 그 전에 학교에서 막 친구들이랑 음. 네. 그 서, 걸스데이 선배님들 노래랑 뮤직비디오 이렇게 보고 그랬거든요. 막 이쁘다고. 아, 네. <웃음> 네, 그리고 이제 서지석 선배님도 네. 네. 이제 드라마나 그런 데서 되게 많이 나오시잖아요. 음. 어, 팬이었는데 직접 oh. 뵙게 돼서 네, 너무 좋았어요. 네, so she actually got to meet these guys while they were filming her music video. She went and actually said hello to them and she was saying how girl stays is heady. She is just so beautiful. And apparently when she was, you know, back at school with her friends, they used to watch girls days music video and also comment on how pretty all the members were. And she actually was very happy about this chance of meeting her and also Sajizak as well. She saw him on various dramas. She was a fan of him and it was wonderful meeting him as well. And you know, actually Encia is very young. She is only how old? I'm just going to ask her. 그리고 실제로도 나이가 굉장히 어리신 걸로 알고 있는데 지금 몇 살이시죠? 지금 18살이요. 18? <laughs> right, she is 18 right now. So I'm sensing high school second grade. 그럼 고등학교 2학년? 네. 맞나요? Right, it is high school, the second grade. I'm sure this is the time when you're enjoying your school years. I wonder how her school is going right now with all her entertainment activities. 그럼 지금 한창 친구들하고 공부하고 놀러 다니고 이럴 나이인 것 같은데 그럼 네. 요즘에 학교 생활은 어떻게 하고 계신 건가요? 음, 지금 활동 때문에 음. 학교 생활은 조금 힘들고요. 음. 시간 날 때마다 가고 있긴 해요. 네. 아, so because of her all the entertainment activities, all the uh, singing, basically she is unable to attend school right now. But whenever she does get days off, she actually goes back to school. I wonder what her friends think about all this. 그럼 학교 친구들의 반응은 어때요? 다들 음. 응원해주고 그러나요? 네, 응원해주고 음. 이제 제 주변에 친구들의 노래하는 친구들이 되게 많아서 아. 네, 학교가 예고다 보니까 네. 그래서 
응원해주는 친구들도 되게 많고 저희 과에서는 또 가수분들이 좀안 나왔어요 많이 아~ 네 그래서 어, 좀, 막, 자존심이다, 이렇게 생각하는 아~ 친구들도 있고, 음. 어, 막, 자극된다 하는 친구들도 되게 많고. 어떤 과인데요? 실용음악과요. 아, 네. Right. So, because her friends, uh, basically, they all are into singing, apparently there hasn't been anyone from her class yet to actually debut. I mean, she does go to the art school, so a lot of the people are wanting to debut, do something in the entertainment industry, but no one has come out yet, so they're saying she's like the representative student right now, representing all of them out there in the entertainment world, or I guess, you know, to debut in the entertainment world from their school, and they're all cheering her on right now. But I wonder whether there are some students who are kind of jealous of her at the same time. I'm sure this is the teenage years. We have jealousy all over the place. So let me ask her about that as well. 그리고 또 사춘기 시절이라 조금 질투하는 뭐 친구들도 있을 것 같아요. 아, 질투가 나쁘게 질투하는 게 아니고요. 음. 되게 좋게 질투하면서 막 아, 내가 너그 이길 거니까 막 두고 봐라 이렇게. 아, <웃음> 친구들 있고 나중에 뭐꼭 만났으면 좋겠다. 그러니까 그쵸. 학교나 이런 데서 말고 음악 방송이나 이런 데로 같이 음. 데뷔해서 만났으면 좋겠다 하는 친구들도 많아요. 네. 네. So there are some people jealous of her, some friends jealous of her, but not in a really really bad way. They're just saying, you know, wait for me, I'm going to debut too. Wait for me, let's meet at those music programs, things like that. And actually, uh, she has a lot of seniors above her who have actually debuted from her school and And I'm sure she was probably talking about all these people before she debuted. 그리고 사실 어 선배님들 중에 지금 데뷔하신 분들이 꽤 많죠? 네. 혹시 만난 적도 있나요? 방송국에서? 네, b 2 b 의 네. 육성재 선배님이랑 오. 빅스의 혁 선배님 계신데요. 네. 얼마 전에 두분다 컴백을 하셨잖아요. 그쵸. 네, 근데 또 빅... 스의 혁 선배님은 응. 같은 과 선배예요. 아~ 네, 그래서 뭐 선생님도 똑같고 응. 그래서 얘기도 많이 했어요. 네. 음. So there is a lot. There is, for example, B to B 성재 and Vix is Hyuk, and apparently Hyuk actually went to, I guess, a major. Let's just say major in the same contemporary uh, singing, contemporary music as Ensia, and apparently they know the same teachers, and because Vix and B to B have also made their comeback right now. She met them and she actually spoke to Hyuk about all that, you know, all the school, all the teachers and things like that. I am sure she'll have more friends who will debut soon. I mean, she's so young still. And I wonder how she was able to debut at such a young age. 이렇게 어린 나이에 데뷔를 한다는 게 쉬운 일은 아닌데 어떻게 가수로 데뷔를 하신 건가요? 어 제가 중학교 3학년 때 음. 갑자기 가수가 하고 싶어져서 오. 네. 어 오디션을 본건 아니고 네. 학교에 가려고 했었어요. 네. 네 그러다가 어제 학원을 다니면서 음. 동영상을 원장 선생님이 찍으시고 그 동영상이 이제 저희 대표님한테 이렇게 보여져서 네. 대표님께서 직접 이렇게 연락을 오. 해주셨어요. 네. So during middle school, at the end of middle school, she suddenly wanted to become a singer, and actually she wasn't thinking of going to different auditions. Rather, she just wanted to go to a school that can help her become a musician. And she actually during this time went to a music college and the CEO of this college took videos of her singing and that was shown to her CEO right now and actually the CEO contacted her himself and I wonder what happened afterwards because I heard something like she rejected the casting call 그리고 듣기로는 캐스팅 연락이 갔는데 거절을 하셨다고요 <웃음> 네. 아, 처음에는 음. 좀 막연한 그런 두려움도 있고 아. 어, 그리고 제가 학교에 합격한 지 얼마 안 됐을 때 연락이 왔어요. 음. 그래서 학교에 더 집중하고 싶고 아무래도 예고니까 음. 그럼 환산? 네. 이런 게 있어서 <웃음> 네 1학년 때는 더 학교에 이렇게 집중하고 싶어서 음. 네. 처음에는 좀 네. 거절을 했었어요. So apparently the casting call came and she did reject it. She was kind of scared to jump in there right there. And apparently she just had been accepted to this art school. So she really wanted to go and enjoy some of the time in the school. And 
and also, you know, study a little bit more before she debuted. So she went into first grade and basically she kind of rejected this call. But then she did debut. So I wonder how that happened. 근데 끝내 이제 데뷔를 하셨어요. 네. 그럼 어떻게 된 건가요? 어, 저희 엄마가 음. 유리상자 선배님들이 여름에, 작년 여름에 콘서트를 한번 하셨었어요. 네. 그때 저는 학교 때문에 못 가고 음. 저희 엄마랑 엄마 친구분이랑 같이 보고 오셨는데 음. 이제 그 콘서트가 너무 재미있으셨나 봐요. 네. 뭐 노래도 좋고 이제 막 선배님들이 중간에 이렇게 오셔서 막 장난치고 이런 것도 되게 아, 좋아 보이고 음. 가족 같은 그런 분위기가 되게 좋아 보여서 좋아 보이셨나 봐요. 네. 그래서 저한테 아 너가 저런 무대에서 음. 저런 분들과 같이 노래를 하고 같이 일을 하면 진짜 좋을 것 같다. 음. 이렇게 말씀하셔서 제가 좀 생각을 해 봤는데 음. 아 괜찮은 것 같아요. 그래서 바로 계약을 했죠. 어, 그럼 그때까지 계속 그 지금 사장님께서 연락을 네. 계속 하고 계셨던 건가요? 네, 아, 사장님 어. 대표님이랑 네. 그 거기 과장님이랑 계속 연락이 왔었어요. 아, 네. 네. Right, so how she debuted was that her mother actually went to Yuri Sangja's concert and she actually could not go, but her mom and her mom's friend went to this concert and they had a great time. They enjoyed it. They had lots of fun and they really like the family kind of an atmosphere they had and her mom came back afterwards and actually told her they would love for her to be actually you know doing something like that on stage with that kind of a family atmosphere really enjoying that kind of a pretty how should I put it a very warm atmosphere warm stage performance and after hearing that from her mother she decided maybe I should debut maybe I should take up that offer and so I had to ask her so your CEO right now was still contacting you through this time and apparently they were uh, not just the CEO but also people working at the company they were contacting her about signing the contract and she finally accepted and she did debut and we do have some messages coming in from our listeners but before we do some of them we're gonna hear another song live tonight she's gonna sing us a song by Nabi called Kireso and of course I'm just gonna ask her whether she is ready and we'll go ahead with this as well. 그리고 오늘 라이브 곡 하나 더 해주신다고요? 네. 길에서 나비 씨의 곡인데 네. 혹시 오디션 때 불렀던 곡인가요? 아 그런 건 아니고요. 음. 네, 제가 평소에 제가 이 노래 나왔을 때부터 음. 계속 즐겨 듣던 노래고 질리지도 않고 되게 좋은 노래인 것 같아서 한번 불러보고 싶어서 네. 오 네. Right. So this is a song that I asked her. Was it the song you sang at different auditions? And apparently no. Uh, it was a song that she just really, really likes since it came out and she never got tired of it. So she's going to sing you this song right now. I am just going to get her ready because she probably wants to stand up while singing this song. So yeah, do wait for that. 네, 그럼 준비되셨으면 네. 서서 해주실 건가요? 아니요, 네. 앉아서? 서서 할게요. 네. Alright, so this is a song by Nabi called 길에서 sung by Ensia live in our sound case studio. Oh 
줄기에 이 모습도 사라졌어 보이지 않아 한 번만 더한 번만 더 보고 싶어서 마른 하늘에 널 그렸어 차갑게 씻어버린 내 목소리마저 아직도 이렇게 널 부르잖아 이 길에서 널 만날 수 있다면 느끼 전에 지금 내게 돌아와줘 이 길에서 Our Sound K Studio. You're listening to Sound K on Arirang Radio with me, DJ Xian, and this is our Monday Corner Star Date with Encia. That was a song live in our studio by Encia, originally sung by Nabi. A song called Kireso. Hope you enjoyed that song. I wonder what our listeners think about this. Do send in loads of messages to our website right now. Oh, 발라드도 굉장히 잘하시네요. 감사합니다. 혹시 다음에 곡을 낸다. 네. 저 이렇게 통통 튀는 곡 말고 발라드도 하고 싶으신가요? 네 발라드 아무래도 발라드로 음. 이렇게 오디션을 받고 음. 평소에도 계속 불렀으니까 네, 한번 그렇게 노래를 내고 싶어요 발라드로 음. 네. So uh, that was a ballad song obviously and yes I had to ask her if you were to release another song in the future would you like to try ballads as well instead of you know all the upbeat songs and she says she always sing ballads so she'd love to get that chance and now let's do some of our listeners questions let me just tell her about it 그리고 지금 이제 계속 메시지가 들어오고 있어요 네. 질문을 저희 청취자분들이 보내주고 계신데 몇개 네. 읽어보도록 할게요 네. let's see the first one from figures 204 from Sweden it says to Encia if you got any song that other K-pop artists have which song would you like mm, very interesting question figures 204 라는 분이 스웨덴에서 보내주셨어요. 네. 어 다른 어, 가수가 가지고 있는 곡을 네. 가져올 수 있다면 자기 네. 걸로 네. 어떤 곡을 가지고 오고 싶으신지. 음 정말 많은데요. 네. 저는 아 <웃음> 어, 정말 많아서 지금 <웃음> 막 머릿속이 좀 복잡한데 음. 아 디아 선배님의 음. 어. 하루 종일 비가 내렸어랑 오. 네가 돌아오면 이라는 노래 있는데요. 네. 어, 정말 좋은데 제가 잘 부를 수 있다면 네. 네, 한번 가져오고 싶습니다. 오. 그러면 사실 이런 곡들을 이렇게 들으면 좀 불러보기도 하잖아요. 네. <웃음> 그렇죠? 이두 곡도 불러보셨죠? 네. 네. 살짝 들어볼 수 있을까요? 네. 하루 종일 비가 내렸어 부를게요. Alright. 네. 하루 종일 비가 내렸어 
한없이 내렸어 솔직하지 못했던 이별만큼 아직도 널 사랑하나 봐 그렇게 사랑했나 봐 잊을 수 없어 네, 여기까지입니다. Ooh, wow. So that was one of the songs she'd love to have. There are so many, but that song she just sang was Tia's song called 하루 종일 비가 내렸어. It rained all day, that's what it means. And there was, you know, other songs like 비가 오면 by Tia as, as well, which is actually means, oh, uh, if it rains, you know, that kind of a song. So yeah, that answers your question. Let me see. X Lost Soul from USA this time. I was wondering what NCA would like to To call her fans. Any ideas? Since she doesn't have an official fan name yet. 그리고 X Lost Soul이라는 분이 미국에서 보내셨어요. 네. 어 팬덤 이름이 아직 없다고. 네. 어팬 공식 팬들의 이름을 지어준다면 어떤 걸 하시겠는지. 아, 저 제가 장명 센스가 정말 없어서요. <웃음> 네. 아, 그 아직. 네. 팬층이 많이 이렇게 굳어진 것도 아니고 음. 아직 제가 신인이다 보니까 어뭐 팬카페 이름에 대해서는 생각을 음. 좀 많이, 아직은 네 못해 음. 봤어요. 네. Right. So she says she's very bad at naming things. So she's kind of uh, actually not wanting to name anything yet. But she says because she's a rookie, she doesn't have a huge fan base yet. But maybe in the future, when the time comes, she will name them. Or maybe you can send your suggestions as well. And let's see, lights. Seven this time from Indonesia. It says, "Which K-pop artist do you like?" 그리고 Light 공칠이라는 분이 인도네시아에서 네. 좋아하는 가수 어떤 가수가 있는지 궁금하대요. 저는 에일리 선배님 정말 좋아하고요. 음. 네, 그 다음에 뭐 디아 선배님, 음. 뭐 메이트 선배님들이랑. 네. 어? 어떤 분이요? 메이트? 메이트? 네. 메일 음. 선배님들. 오. Oh, 네. So she likes Ailey, Dia, Mate, and also Nell as well. Different combination there. And let's see. Chief of Luki from Tunisia this time. Oh, they just a message. It says, I don't know what to call you because we're the same age. So I'm just going to call you cutie. You're beautiful. Your voice is amazing. Your song, student, teacher. I'm all my friends. Even the non K poppers love it. Simply perfect. Lots of love from Tunisia. Fighting, it says. 그리고 이분은 질문은 아니고 그냥 메시지예요. 네. 치파 루키 씨가 튀니지에서 보내셨어요. 네. 음, 나이가 같아서 뭐라고 불러야 될지 모르겠지만 어, 귀염둥이라고 아. 부르겠다고. <웃음> 감사합니다. <웃음> 얼굴도 예쁘고 목소리도 너무 좋고 튀니지에서 K-팝을 별로 좋아하지 않는 친구들도 아. 이 교생 쌤 노래는 굉장히 좋아한다고. 파이팅 이렇게 보내셨어요. 와우. Thank you for <웃음> 네. that. And Let's see, Angeline from the Philippines this time. Uh, what do you see yourself in five to ten years from now? Will you still be a singer or will you be acting as well? What is your dream performance? 그리고 안젤린 씨가 필리핀에서 보내셨어요. 네. 음, 질문이 여러 개 있는데 다 이렇게 합쳐서 얘기를 해도 될것 같아요. 이 아. 질문이 엔시아 씨는 5년, 10년 후에 무엇을 하고 있을까요? 아직도 가수를 하고 계실 건가요? 아니면 연기를 하실 생각도 있으신지? 아, 네. 뭐 연기도 생각은 있지만 어 아직까지는 뭐 10년 뒤에도 계속 음. 노래를 하고 싶어요. Mm. So she does want to try acting, but not yet. She wants to sing even 10 years down the line. And that last uh, question was, what's your dream performance? I'll ask her about that as well. 그리고 이분이 또 보내주신 질문이 하나 더 있는데, 꿈꾸는 공연이 있다면 음. 어떤 게 있는지? 어 제가 나중에 제가 가사 쓰고 막 작곡하고 음. 이런 걸 되게 좋아해서 네. 나중에 그런 노래를 제가 직접 만들어서 내게 된다면 음. 저 혼자만의 그런 콘서트를 이렇게 열어서 제가 만든 노래나 오. 그런 거를 한번 불러보고 싶어요. 네. 네. So she actually enjoys writing lyrics and also composing songs as well. So she hopes down the line she can hold a concert where she will sing all her songs. So I guess it's a successful concert for a singer-songwriter. And because we are running out of time, I'm going to ask her about this as well. Her future goals for this year, maybe her plans as well this year. 그리고 어, 시간이 이제 정말 얼마 안 남아서 이 질문 네. 드릴게요. 앞으로의 계획 그리고 올해 가고 
앞으로 계획은요. 어, 계속 이렇게 노래하면서 이제 시청자분들, 청취자분들한테 더 좋은 모습 보여드리도록 노력하고 어, 음, 네. 네. 올해 각오가 있다면? 올해 각오는 그냥 앞으로 계속 열심히 하면서 아, 이제 저를 네? 사람들한테 더 각인시키고 네 내년에는 좀더 많이 다른 모습도 보여주실 수 있, 보여드릴 수 있게 네. 제가 더 열심히 하겠습니다. 네, so she says her future plans for this uh, uh, this year is to actually continue singing, I guess, continue releasing more songs and showing good sides to everybody listening to radio, watching the TV, and also maybe goals for this year would be you know to let more people know about her, the musician Ansia, and also show different sides of her as well. And you know what? That uh, brings us to the end of our. Corner tonight, and she has requested this song by Can, a duo, a song called p a m a r Hajima, which kind of means "Don't be rude to me." I guess I'm just gonna ask her why she requested this song, and we'll play that song as the last song for Star Date tonight. 그리고 이제 마지막으로 신청곡을 틀어드리면서 인사 나누려 그랬는데 네. Can의 p a m a r Hajima라는 곡을 신청하셨어요. 네. 이유 알수 있을까요? 어 처음에 이제 이 노래 나오기 전에 저는 같은 회사 선배님들 이니까 음. 노래를 먼저 듣잖아요. 네. 근데 저도 인트로밖에 안 들어봤는데 인트로에 뭐 판말하지 말어 이래요. 네. <웃음> 그 부분이 되게 인상이 깊은 거예요. 아. 네, 정말 다음 가사가 궁금하고. 네. 네, 그래서 오늘 한번 제대로 저도 들어보고 싶어서. 아. 네. Right. So the reason she requested this song is because apparently Ken, when they were uh, planning to release this song, because they are actually her label mates, seniors in her label, she only heard. The intro to this song before it was released, and the intro was the part she just sang right now. And apparently, it was very interesting because it was talking about how "Do not be rude to me," and she really wanted to know what happens afterwards. What's the lyrics after that? So she plans to hear and actually listen to this song tonight with you guys and check it out. And so we're gonna play you this song p a m a r a j i m a by Ken, and we're gonna say goodbye to her. 네, 그러면 반 반말하지마 Ken의 반 반말하지마 네. 틀어드리면서 인사 나눌게요. 오늘 나와주셔서 감사합니다. 네, 안녕히 계세요. 땡큐. 반말하지마 언제부터 봤다고 나 얼마나 잘한다고 도대체 왜 대체 누구시길래 뭐 얼마나 잘났길래 쇼면에 왜 반말이요 거슬리게 네가 나를 알아 내가 그렇게 만만해 보여 말하지 마라 분명히 나보다 더너 아래 년배 같은데 도대체 왜 반말이요 이상하게 뭘 믿길래 
받아준 조금 영원한 승자도 패자도 없고 가불지 말고 건방 떨지 말고 처음 봤으면 말을 놓지 말어 Respect